hi, welcome to the Improved Garage YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button. So today we're going to be talking about the Scion XB. Um, this is the one that I put an engine in, and it's been two, three weeks. Uh, I've put about 600 miles on the engine. Um, engine, transmission, combination, the, the vehicle. I've put about 600 miles in the vehicle since I uh, put the engine in it. Um, and this being a used engine that came from uh, a JDM engine from um, California, the recommendation is that after 500 miles, you change the oil. So that's what I'm gonna to do today. I'm gonna to change the oil in the uh, 2010 Scion XB, and this will be a general walkthrough for anybody to do it. Um, it's the same for any uh, anything with, with this engine type. So to start off, uh, we're gonna open the hood. There's a hood release under the dash. Um, this pops up and there's a button here. Lift the hood up, put the pin underneath it. Um, our oil fill is here. Our dipstick is here. The drain is on the bottom and the filter is on this side of the engine. So uh, to start off, I'm gonna get the, um, I'm gonna jack up the car to get underneath the engine comfortably. So let's get that done. Okay, so I don't need a lot there, just a little bit so that I can get underneath it. I'm not actually going to crawl underneath it. I'm just going to reach underneath and uh, remove the drain plug. Okay, so we need um, a 14 millimeter on a ratchet, preferably, or a wrench. Uh, we need a oil filter. We need about four and a half quarts of 5W20, at least in my, um, my temperature range and where I live in California, 5W20 is the recommended. Um, you can check your owner's manual for the other recommendations for different regions. Okay, so we're here under the car. Uh, this is the passenger side of the back of the engine. Uh, we can see the drain plug is right here. It's 14 millimeter. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to loosen that up really quick. Just a little bit. And then we're going to put this in place. We're going to pull the plug to drain the oil. And there we are. So let's give this a minute to drain out. Our filter right here. To show you where it is so you can see it from the side here. Um, I'm reaching up from underneath. So we're just gonna twist this off by hand. And as we loosen it up, we'll see a little bit of oil start to run down like that and there we are our filter has been removed and our oil is draining out all right so we're gonna put the the new filter on I've got a micro guard select here um, one good idea when you're putting on a new filter is you take a little bit of the, the oil, it could be fresh oil, it could be drain oil, and you just kind of put it on this O-ring here, um, and then you tighten it up by hand. So the filter needs to be tight, but you should be able to take it off. Um, we're going to replace our drain plug O-ring, which is a 14 millimeter O-ring on this car. So we have a new one here. I'm going to put that here on the drain plug. Certainly doesn't need to be crazy but it does need to be tight. Okay. So now at this point, we're ready to fill the car back up. Uh, we can take a rag and wipe off the bottom. So just 
Grab some, some shop towels here. Wipe this all off. Everything's nice and clean. Get the camera out from under here. Get the pan. Drop the curtain down so it's level. Okay. Now we can uh, fill up the oil. I have this nifty funnel from Schwaben that actually screws into the top of the engine. Um, sure, not everybody has one of these. You can just use a standard funnel. But... Just like that. Like I mentioned before, this car takes 520, putting Valvoline Daily Protection 520 Synthetic Blend Motor Oil in here. Why? Because it was on sale. And realistically, they're all good, and this is a Scion. Um, so we'll start pouring. Now I'm going to start off with about three quarts to begin with. It's really easy to add more. And it's hard to add less. This is a five quart bottle. So I've got three quarts in there. Now I know I'm going to have to add more. I just don't know how much yet. Let's grab a rag here, pull the dipstick, take a look and see where we're at. So I'm at the bottom hole. So I'm going to add another half a quart. In most cars, the distance between the top hole and the bottom hole is about a quart. So we can see that I'm about halfway between the top and bottom holes. So I need about another half quart. So I'm right by the top hole. There. Okay. I'm gonna add just a touch more. And that'll be good. So we've changed our engine oil, filled our level to where it needs to be, and remove our funnel, install our cap. about it. This is a good opportunity while you're in here to kind of look around and see how everything else is. Look at your coolant level. I'm at the cool line. I'll look at your brake level. I'm between min and max. Good. Uh, you know, just kind of validate all of your other levels and everything else. Um, you need to change your air filter. Air filter is right here. Over in this housing. Just three clicks. One, two, three. And it just clicks off. that as well while you're in here and normally I do them every oil change so my next oil change 5,000 I'll, I'll do that so that's it thanks for watching have a great day and hopefully this helps somebody out with their Scion or, or any car with the 2AZ FE engine Camry Corolla XB TC fits a variety of vehicles